and this may be hard for you to believe, but vegans and animal rights activists have one major thing in common with the catch and release fishing community. And I feel like it's very important to say out loud because there are two kinds of fishing people, those that fish for food and those that fish for sport. Today, we're only talking about the second group, AKA catch and release anglers. C and R anglers have one major thing in common with animal rights activists and vegans. They both really care about fish pain. Despite popular belief, C and R anglers worry a lot about ethical fishing. You can literally find endless videos on YouTube about safe fish handling. A catch and release angler's worst nightmare is old Dale who shows up to their lake with a case of beer and keeps everything he catches for dinner. Then he leaves behind a bag of empty beer cans and 10 cigarette butts, as well as a pile of used up soft plastics. Catch and release anglers want to make sure fish stay healthy and alive so a particular body of water can be fished for generations, which means keeping the place trash free, taking the fish out of water as little as possible, and even using barbless hooks so it causes less injury to the fish. The big question is, is that ethical? People often say it's torture to hook a fish in the first place, but anglers often defend this by saying fish don't feel pain. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I also threw out a poll on YouTube to survey a thousand people 